Charm Grammy Crochet and I am back again with some more yarn bagging up. Uh, this is another one of those little crates that I had. Um, whoa, whoa. It's just a little standing rolly shelf thing that I really like. Um, and I had three of them. No, maybe four of them. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, well, I just did one this morning. Now I'm doing another one this afternoon. And I think there's one more. So I must have had three. Uh, and hopefully I can get the other one in on this video and in on in this bag of yarn that I'm putting them in. Uh, and these are, well, Cakes and Lunas. Lunas are a ball, so you'll see that in a minute. Um, well, thanks for watching and checking out my stash up, pack, bag up videos here. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. Someone asked me if I could put the, um, so the words show up, uh, closed captioning. And I've been trying to figure it out, and I am having a hard time figuring it out. It doesn't look like it should be hard, but it's saying that mine are ineligible. So I don't know what that, I don't know why I can't figure it out. But I will work on it some more. Um, so let's start with some really yarny goodness. Let's start with some Bernat Pops. Um, Bernat Pop is by Bern, uh, Yarnspirations. Uh, they are 100% acrylic, 5 ounces, 140 grams, 280 yards which is 256 meters and they are a four weight acrylic and this maybe we need a little more light this time how's that oh yeah way better uh so these are let's turn them more into the light there you go these are blues and this one is called get it back here maybe even better this one is called blue blaze and it's blues several different colors of blue let me see if i turn the light on a little bit if that will help oh wait i think i turned it off let's turn 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 uh maybe it's not plugged in because it oh there we go is that better oh maybe be better. i don't want to i'm sorry i don't want to um open the bags because <laughs> I want them to stay together you know uh, so that will be in the first bag and then we have this color which is called masquerade kind of reminds you of Mardi Gras it's got that limeish kind of yellow green uh, what did I call it uh, like a lemon maybe even yellow and then purples to the blues I have three of those. They have these on sale real inexpensively. They were, you know, in the bags of three. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this one. This one is called Scarlet Sizzle. Guess what? It's reds and oranges. <laughs> then I have Philo. This is all the Burnett Pop I have. Uh, this is the last one. This one is called Pop Art. And um, it didn't fit in my bags very well, is this? But it is. There's a charcoal in there, and then all the other colors are bright. But they got that one charcoal, um, and then there's like pinks and yellows and blues and oranges. Very pretty yarn. I like it a lot. Um, I do not have a lot of mandala, at least not in here. I don't think that I really have a lot of mandala. Period. Um, in comparison to some of my yarn stash but <coughs> I do have this really gorgeous color which is called Sprite uh, and the dollars are by Lion brand and it just is isn't it gorgeous it's yellows and mints and purples and pinks coral uh, now on the mandalas they do these are uh, 5.3 ounces 150 grams it's three weight a hundred uh, 590 yards 400 540 meters. Did you give me the color layout on that? There you go. Uh, so you can see that. And if I did not tell you, this one is called Sprite. Uh, and I believe they are 100% acrylic. Yeah. And I have three of those. Now this, see, they don't fit real well in my bag, so I'll, I'll take this out. Um, and show it to you this way. I tried to get it to stay, but it didn't. Uh, and this one is called Nipplers. Oh, don't you love it? 
they do come out with some really awesome colors as far as I'm concerned. And it's just like this big, huge rainbow. It starts with greens in the middle. And the layout on it, if you zoom it up, it looks like that. There's three of those. And it wants a little bag. Then I have, these ones are not bagged, so I don't know why they were not in a bag. Um, but they need to be. This one is just, it's like mushroomed. It has mushroomed. So these are more sweet rolls. They weren't going to fit in the other bag, sadly. Uh, and this is called Gelato Pop. And it's lavender, blue, maybe like a periwinkle. And a cream. It's not quite white. It's cream. Um, and isn't it cool? I love it. It's softer for weight. Uh, 245 yards, 224 meters, 5 ounces, 140 grams, if you uh, care about that. And these are Premier Sweet Rolls, 100% acrylic. I do not believe the Sweet Rolls are anti-pilling. Uh, the DK Colors are anti-pilling. Um, but these are not. Uh, these are... And this one just wants to mushroom out on me. I have three of those. And then my final sweet rolls, at least in here, is this uh, This one. It, it is called Wild Cherry. And uh, here you can see the colors. It's opened at the end a little bit. Uh, so it's, it's all reds. All reds. And I have six of these. I don't know why. But I do have six of those. Um, so that's this yarn. Then I have the Lunas. So I'm going to put this away so it's out of the way and then we'll pull out the Luna. I'll be right back. Alrighty, fighting with the sun again. <laughs> Whether it decides to come or go, I just can't figure it out. Um, so the next yarns are Luna by Premier. Uh, these are anti-pilling. They are 273 yards, 250 meters, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, this colorway is called Pluto. They are a three weight and they come in like a donut ball kind of thing, um, which is, it is tied together. So it's better than a regular ball or donut. Uh, and they do show you the colors. So this one is like green and pink and periwinkle kind of, I would call that a bluish periwinkle. Um, and unless I say otherwise, I have three. So there's three of those. Then there's this color, which is called Sears, C-E-R-E-S. -E uh, and it is, I don't know how well you can see, my lighting is, um, but it is, uh, a, I'm going to say it, it's blue. It's not really lavender. It's kind of looking lavender in there. But it's colors of shades of blues and greens with some white. This is really nice soft yarn. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I really like the yarn. Um, when I bought it, it was on a really good sale and it sold out by the time I got the colors and saw, ooh, I would like more of this one or I would like more of that one. And I went back to buy more uh, with others, and most of it was gone. So there were two yarns that I only got two or one each of. Of course, uh, the color Low, which is purples. All the shades of purple. You know, my favorite. And there's one. <laughs> and this one, there was one. This one is called Titan. And it's purple, blue, and gray. Um, and it looks look, like, look at how bright that blue color is. It's like a sapphire. And the purple is dark purple. But then it's got this, like, steel color blue here, too. And then there's the grays in there. <coughs> really nice. I love it. Um, did I show you this color? I think I did. Let me see the name. Oh no. Can I do it? Oh, I'll do it over there. Okay. This one is oranges, but then there's some purple in there and some red. Um, but it's mostly shades of orange. It is called 
Castillo. Um, and here's what it looks like. Ah, uh, there. No glare there. So that's... These would... So Chloe, because a lot of these, like, go... The colors transition, and you can go from, like, that one to, say, this one, which is called Mercury, and it's browns and oranges. So there's a couple of colors of tan, and then the peach kind of, um, but with the like peachy tone in this one, you could go from this color to this color and like kind of ombre all the colors. Chloe said, yes, Granny, put all the colors, go all one color until it runs out and then do the other color until it runs out and then go to the next transitioning color until it runs out. I'm like, do you have any idea how big this blanket will be? <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> but that's what she wanted me to do. Oh, Grandma, it would be so pretty. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it would be. I'm sure it would take me three years. Um, this one is called Jupiter, and it is, uh, as you can see, there's greens, whites, kind of a mauvey purple, uh, and blue. And here is the little color worked up swatch. Oh, except for the all purple one, of which I only have one. This is one of my favorites right here. Uh, and this one is called Venus, and it is purples. Ooh, look at that dark, dark purple. That is one of my very favorite purples, that dark, dark. And then those, the red or pinks. Um, and the colors are like this. And then I have this one, which is blues, uh, all different shades of blues, even like a, well, no, it goes blues to gray. This one is called Uranus, and there's gray, and uh, so this, this blue is more like a royal blue. Some of what you're seeing make it, makes it look brighter, like more sapphire-ish. It's not that color. <laughs> it's more like a royal blue to the steel blue to the gray and this is the color swatch on it some of the blues are blending in so well it's hard to tell the difference <laughs> they're like but it, that's nice and then there's this one which is the brighter blues and this one is called Europa I think I don't know if I spelled said it right um, but this is brighter blues to even like an oceanic kind of colors. And it's getting a little worse for the wear here. Wanting to come unrolled. So behave yourself and get in there. Then finally, I have this one. Now this one I have a lot of. I have seven of, seven? Six. I have six of this one. It is called... Ganymede, Ganymede, G-A-N-Y-M-E-D-E. -E. Um, and it is all colors of pink. All the pinks in there. And it looks like, hold on, I'll get it. Oh, and even some purple. There is, according to the swatch, there looks like there is some uh, yeah, maybe some lavender in there. I guess maybe they're calling this right here purple. It looks more purple in person than it's showing up on there. Um, not a lot of that color, though. Um, anyway, very pretty, very soft. Um, I really like those. So I'm going to bag these up. That empties this little shelf, and I'm going to grab the other shelf from the other room. It's easier to grab that because it rolls than to move all my stuff into there. And if this lighting stayed like this, I would be really, really happy. Look at how, look at, you see the colors perfect. Just stay, please. Um, it's not going to, I can guarantee it. Um, but I wish it would. So I will be back in a moment. Alrighty, so we got that all packed up. 
Um, I bought this yarn on clearance at Yarn Bee, uh, at, uh, <laughs> at Yarn Bee, at Hobby Lobby. They used to carry this called Delish. Um, it is, uh, it's a three weight, three, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards, 540 meters. It is 90% uh, acrylic and 10% alpaca. And I have two in this color which is called Darling, something Darling. Um, and it's blues and light grays, tans maybe. I have two of those. I don't have a lot of this yarn. Um, and then I have one in this color, which is very neutral. Um, and it is called uh, Bloom. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Bloom. I have one in this color. It is called a uh, color named Pomegranate. And it is pinks. It does have a really nice halo on there, and I'm sure that's from the alpaca. It's only 10% alpaca, but there's a halo. And then I have um, two in this color called Moose Along. And it's blues, grays, and charcoal. Um, it's nice. It's soft. It shouldn't be here. It should be with the alpaca yarns that I have. Um, let's see. I have two of these. So it's a total of six cakes of yarn. Um, you know, I'm thinking as I'm looking at this, I should just put this in a giveaway. You guys, I'm going to do a giveaway for this. So if you want these yarns, these six cakes um so there's two in the i don't know that you could combine these but maybe i doubt it uh well you could depending on how you worked it there's two in the blue or four in the blues because there's two of each of those then there's one of the neutrals and there's one of the pinks um and i'm sorry that one's coming apart a little bit um but if you want these uh alpaca and acrylic if you're interested in having them, uh, just put the word delish, D-E-E -E hyphen L-I-S-H. Just put that, delish, just like that, in the comments. Um, I will leave this, let's see, this, um, so next week I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to leave probably two weeks because next week I'm going to be away. Um visiting Nancy and Lynn Ann and Billy and Bree. Uh, because just because the hurricane wiped out our beach vacation, I still have airplane tickets and they're not giving me a refund. So I'm going and I will be gone all next week. Uh, this video won't go up for a couple days. From today to today is still Tuesday. I got one going up tomorrow, so it won't even go up till Thursday. Um, do not interrupt me with a phone call. So, <clears throat> just to be clear, I'm going to be gone all next week at Nancy and Lin uh, with Nancy and Lynn and Bree and Billy. And um, so when I get back, like the day after, or so I'm having my other knee done. So when I am better <laughs> and able to think straight off the narcotics, I'm going to say at least two weeks. I'm not going to give it an end date because. Um, honestly, I'm going to be on drugs for a few days and I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. Um, I did not like being on the drugs for the first surgery. So I know I kind of threw this in, in the middle of the, of the video. Isn't that funny? I haven't done that before. Let's see how well it goes, but I'm not keeping these yarns. I decided these are going in the giveaway. Um, it's six cakes at almost 600 yards, three weight. It's nice, soft. You, I hope you'll like it. Uh, if you don't think you're going to like it, don't even try to enter because somebody else will like it that will want it. Um, and it's not that I don't like it. I do like it. Um, and alpaca is supposed to be non-hyperallergenic. Um, I just do not see me making anything with it anytime in the near future. I haven't done a giveaway for a minute. So I'm going to give those away on the spur of the moment. Look at that spur of the moment giveaway. Love it. So now you're glad you watched. Um, so what else do I have in here? Um, a bunch of cake yarns. I told you I didn't have a lot of mandalas. I have a couple more. And 
I really should throw this one in, but I'm not going to because I love the colors. But I only have one, I think. Maybe I'll end up throwing more in there. We'll see. Maybe this one. So I'm going to hold it off to the end. Um, but you still have to put Delish. I'm going to write that on my little book here so that I remember. D-E-E-L-I-S-H. Um, you have to put that in the comments. Don't mention the giveaway because this is a surprise giveaway for those of you watching these. Uh, and these others, I have not written down. You, I like to write them down before I poof them out here to you guys, but I haven't done that. So, um, this is bag 27, y'all. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, the first yarn I have here is an ice yarn, and I'll tell you about it. It's a sparkle yarn. Uh, I think... The majority of these in here are sparkle, uh, but this is an ice. It's a sparkle. You know, it doesn't have a name because it's ice, um, but it is brown tones, and it is sparkle. And can you see it? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it does have a number. Here's the number. I would imagine they still carry it. Um, is it called ice? Cakes or it's yep, cakes glitz. It's cakes glitz, um, and it is 150 grams, 540 meters, 540 meters, and it is a three weight. And I have two, um, so those will go in the bag. Uh, then let me sort these out. Uh, let me sort these out real quick, and then I'll come back. All right. So let's start with this one. Because I found some more Bernat Pop. I bought these. Uh, this is Bernat Pop. It is a uh, four weight. This is a really thick four. Um, when you look at this, and they're calling this a four weight. And then this is a mandala. And they're calling that one a four weight. I mean, look at the size of the difference in the yarn. This looks like a three weight. Can you see that? And then this looks like it should be a chunky. <laughs> Particularly when you, there, you can see that one really well. When you, right, really, right? Okay, but anyway, I bought these because my daughter collects lipsticks and she's all about lipstick. Lipsticks in shoes. Um, she thinks my yarn is bad. Uh, anyway, this is 280, I think, yards on a skein. It's four weight. Uh, this one is called Lipstick, and it is pinks and grays. I have two of them, and I specifically bought them to make something for Amanda, um, just because of the name. <laughs> to be honest, I, that is why I bought that yarn. Uh, and I couldn't, I, I think I looked for more, but I could never find it on sale. At least not on sale cheap. And, you know, I'm only buying it when it's on sale cheap. Then I have this uh, one mandala that is uh, a troll. It, oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. They do say this is a three weight. Troll is a three weight. Yeah, they do call these three weights. I'm sorry, my bad. I knew it looked like a three weight. I just love the colors. It's the only one I have. It's got the mint in it and the pinks and the blues and the purples. Um, I just love the color. It is uh, 590 yards, 540 meters, 5.3 ounces, which is 150 grams. I only have the one. Um, and then we're going to get into, oh, I do have this also in the mandala, also three weight. All the sta other stats are the same. Oh, wait, does this show the colors? Oh, it does. Here's the colors on the side. I just love that bright pink, just like brings it out for me. I don't know. Um, and this one is called Arendelle, I think. Um, and it is pinks and blues and purple. Well, no purples. Pinks and blues. I get a lot of pinks, blues, and purples in my yarn. Um, and here's the colorways on that. And there are three of these. And then I have this wood nymph. I've given some of this yarn away before. Uh, I just have four <laughs> uh four or so uh and it is um yeah it was called wood nymph it is the mandala 
Uh, here's the colors. You can see them really well because um, that one doesn't have a label on it anymore. But here's the colorway uh, all worked up. And it's purples down to the cream. Purples, pink, and down to like the cream. That's four of those. Then we get into the pretty sparkle yarns. Um, I have two of these. These are Roll With It Sparkle from Red Heart. They are 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, 561 yards, 513 meters. Uh, it does say, this is the one. They say this is a four weight. So this is a four weight and that other was a four weight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they get that to both be four weights, but uh this is acrylic with the uh with the sparkle though um and i think i gave you all the stats oh the color that's what i was looking for this one is called gray whisper so it has like the charcoal gray not quite black um and then the purples uh so it goes the light gray into the like all the way up to the charcoal here and then the purples at the edges very pretty I have two of those. Uh, this one, ah, this is my fave. And I somehow, I don't know how I ended up with, but I have 10 of this one. This one is called, yeah, it's obsessive, I know. Uh, excessive, I should say. This one is called Magic. I just love it. It makes me smile. Um, and I'm thinking I really need to put this into a boggy blanket. And I know Laura says, do buggy blankets that aren't granny squares. But you know how quickly you could make this into a granny square blanket? I mean, it's a three weight, so it will take a little more time. But, oh, I love it. But then, wouldn't it also be cool if you did, uh, like, you go to the granny, uh, or the circle to a square. And you did the circles just as it comes out. So then, it would, you know, they would all be the different colors. Um, I made a blanket similar, you know, with that in, in mind, and then just white. Didn't, not sparkle white, just white. Um, that would be gorgeous too, right? What do you guys think? I love that. And I think it would be so pretty in boggy blankets. I think the kids would love it. Um, then I have this color. This color is called Destiny. And it is... Oh, I didn't show you the... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, this doesn't give you the worked up swatch thing. Okay. Um, this is still uh, roll with its sparkle. I mean, it's a wrap sparkle. And it is purples and blues. Purples, pinks, and blues. Those are my colors. Except I really love yellow. I mean, look at that. It's so gorgeous. I just keep staring at it. Uh, and then, finally, on this cart... I have this one. This one is called Eclipse. And it is grays, browns, and blues. Of course, again, with the sparkle. Um, I like it. When I go to the brown tones and the gray tones, I'm buying that with everybody else in my family in mind <laughs> except me. When I'm buying things like this, I'm buying this because these colors make me smile. Um, not that I would wear a sweater necessarily made out of those colors because I'm a big girl and old. <laughs> I don't know that big old girls can wear these colors, but I love to buy these because they make me smile. Um, and Boggy Creek would love these like in blankets, don't you think? Uh, so, and this too, like this color makes me smile. It, it looks deeper in color, darker on screen than what it is because the colors are actually quite bright. That teal in the center is very bright. Um, the purple and the mint, you know, lighten it up and brighten it up so much. But I only have one, so that won't make a blanket uh, for Boggy. I won't, I don't know, scarf maybe. <laughs> Uh, what do you make with one? I, uh, three weight and 590 yards or something. I don't know. Um, I guess that's what Ravelry is for. That is all of my wire. That's all of them. That's everything I have in the wire uh, things. 
Don't forget about the delish. Uh, yep, I think that's all I'm going to talk about right now. I'm going to bag this up and go make dinner because I'm starving. This has been a half an hour video. That's not too bad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the cakes and all the beautiful colors. Just love these. I don't want to pack them now. I just want to smile at them because they do indeed make me smile. And the delish uh, is, well, the pink one fell. I have to rescue it. But if you're interested uh, in it, and like I said, I'm not giving you an exact time frame, but it's going to be at least two weeks because I'll be gone and um, it might be two plus weeks. Uh, like all next week I'll be gone. Then the next week I have surgery on Tuesday. Um, and so Monday I'll be like getting ready. For, I don't, I don't think I'll do it that fast. Um, but I might, I doubt it. Uh, so consider this to be when I get back and, and have started, uh, uh off the narcotics so probably the end of the second week so you'll have this will go out on Thursday so you have all the next Thursday or Wednesday and then so the beginning of November let's just go with that like a the first or second Thursday of November that's when I'll pick that name that the probably the first Thursday of November uh, we'll pick the winner for that okay so thank you guys so much for watching liking subscribing all those things that YouTube likes um uh, I like those things too. I love chatting with you and showing you my yarn. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do this task. It's really nice to be able to share the yarn um, that I have with people that I know will also enjoy seeing it uh, and kind of playing in it as much as we can. Ooh, so pretty, it's so pretty. Um, and this is so squishy. You're going to love this yarn. I think if you don't mind the halo, you're going to love this yarn. If you like working with alpaca, it's very soft. It's very soft. I hope I'm not going to be sorry. <laughs> That's always my problem. I'm going to just, on a side note, I know I said ten, two minutes ago I was going. I love doing giveaways, but I hate giving away my yarn. I mean, it's not that I hate it. It's just that, like, it's it's soft. It's pretty. It's nice. It's squishy. It's wearable. And I feel like like I'm going to miss out if I give it out, give it away. But somebody else will enjoy it very much. And I have a lot more, you know. I have others. Not of this. Um, they don't make this anymore. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, that's it. I'm really going now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.